On this episode, we're going to arm you to get ready to have those one-on-one -on -one conversations with your crews that help you better influence them to buy into the safety program. People work, the human touch in workplace safety. Available everywhere on Amazon. To learn more, go to kevburns.com slash peoplework. The one thing that will connect your continuous cash flow, your long-term investments, and the kind of legacy you want to leave behind is safety. Now, without safety, everything's at risk. The safety department complains that it's difficult to get workers to buy into safety. But really, is it any wonder that employees don't want to buy in? I mean, safety has been positioned and promoted as an exercise in paperwork and rules and regulations. And if that's how it's been presented, it shouldn't be any surprise that employees resist buying into a program of checks and forms and paperwork, especially the paperwork. Safety meetings, rewards, recognition, paperwork are important. We get it. There's no disputing that. We need measurement to determine where we are and how well we're moving forward. They all play a role in the safety culture building plan, but to build a successful safety program requires a foundation of employee buy-in. Without it, you're going to be feeding the monster, spending large amounts of money, and never achieve the desired success. So to change that, we go to Leadership 101, basic values-based conversations with employees. Safety leaders learn how to coach employees to see that the employee's own long-term goals and the company's long-term goals are the same. The values are the same. Then safety leaders show their crews how safety is the tool that gets them from where they are in the present to where they want to be in the future. Safety is the insurance to protect the future. So how do you have those conversations that lay out the framework for buying into safety? Well, here are three compelling conversations for supervisors and safety people to have with their crews one-on-one. -on -one. And the purpose of these conversations is to influence better buy-in to safety. So first, let's talk about short-term desire. The desire list is the want list in the present day. This is where you find the short-term gratification, the stuff your people want. Could be a new car, new house, big screen TV, man cave, pro sports season tickets, the short-term stuff. It requires cash to buy in right now. Now, seeing something in a store and having the cash to pay for it today is gratifying, but it requires cash, the ability to pay for the kid's university, a wedding, or maybe their first home requires cash take a long vacation or to buy a motorhome takes cash. Impulse buying and emergency spending in the present takes cash. The ability to pay cash without the burden of debt requires continuous cash flow. See, if there's no cash flow, you need to use credit, which, as we know now, piles up quickly. The only way to quench those short-term desires without credit requires continuous cash flow. Without continuous cash flow, life is expensive, options are limited. Taking unnecessary risks jeopardizes your continuous cash flow. Doing risky things off shift is even more consequential. There, I mean, there's no way to claim insurance or WCB. Look, when you're not working, cash flow stops dead. Choosing safety assures that the cash flow will continue and life is good. So the first conversation is to talk about short-term desire. In the second conversation, we talk about long-term security. This is different than being able to buy stuff in the moment. Security is the long-term investment and future part of living. This is where you set your family up and remove worries in the future. This is where you plan for retirement and set up reserves for the long-term. And this is also where you rest easy knowing that you'll never burden your spouse and your kids. They'll never have to struggle to make ends meet because of a mistake that you made. They'll always have access to skills and tools and education, and they'll never have to downsize or live in fear of facing large loans. Choosing safety keeps you working so that you can plan the future for your family. Safety connects directly to security. And knowing that you're set up to weather a major financial storm gives you peace of mind. Now think about it. People forced to live with money and health pressures aren't happy. Choosing safety actually reduces stress for you and the rest of the family. So choose safety to provide long-term security for your family. That's the second conversation, long-term security. And then the third and final conversation is to talk about how they'll build 
their legacy. Legacy is your lasting memory, how you want to be remembered. Legacy is the contribution that you made to the world. And in 20 years, do you want to be giving a leadership speech about how safety made you a success? Or do you want to be the one giving a how I lost my limb, don't do what I did speech? Safety leader or accident survivor? See, the legacy is yours. How your life turns out is the result of the choices that you make each day. Selfless people, by the way, safety leaders, don't burden others with the results from their decisions. Courtesy is the cornerstone of lasting relationships. If, if you have people who are in a relationship and respect each other and do courteous things for each other, you have a good life together. But courtesy exits when high stress issues show up. See, when you're not overwhelmed by stress, building a legacy is easy. The longer you're alive and healthy, the, the greater your legacy becomes. So the third and final conversation with your people one-on-one -on -one is about the kind of legacy they want to leave. Desire, security, legacy, the three conversations that can influence better buy-in to safety. But as we mentioned earlier, traditionally safety is promoted and communicated as a compliance program of paperwork and rules and procedures, but safety really is the vehicle that connects you to your long-term goals, the, the one thing that will connect continuous cash flow and, and long-term investments and legacy is safety. Without safety, everything is at risk. Without choosing safety by default, you allow chance to dictate your life results. So be a safety leader. Help your people buy in.